back to Blau Dev. Today we're going to be going over the new Flutter mobile ads package. We're going to make it quick. We're going to get straight to the point. I'm going to show you guys how it works. Let's get into it. For those who aren't aware, last week the Flutter team announced some amazing new improvements to Flutter. And one of those improvements was the introduction of the new mobile ads package. So we're going to be diving into that today and we're going to be messing around with this test app to see how those ads work and how you can set up your application to handle those ads and start making money quick. So the first thing that we're gonna do prior to handling everything on our app is we first need to make sure that you have an AdMob account and that you create a new app on that AdMob account that we can use in reference um, when we're placing ads in our application. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to apps.admob.com. If you don't have an account already, all you need is a Google account to set that up. Ideally, you should already have your billing information put in there. That way you can receive payments and whatnot um, upon generating income from your ads. You can see here, I have one app currently that has ads set up. Um, we can do two things. We can click view all apps, which will bring us to this screen. And this is where we're gonna need to go to grab this number here. Um, that's an important number that we're gonna need to use in our application. Um, but what we're going to do for the time being is we're going to click add app and I'm going to start by doing iOS. Um, it's currently not supported in the app store. If yours is click yes and you'll be able to search for it within the app store. I'm going to click continue and I'm going to call this Google mobile ads for Flutter. Um, I'm going to allow it to use metrics because that's going to be useful to us and then I'm going to click add app. The next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to find Google mobile ads on pub.dev and you're gonna get the most recent version. And depending on when you're watching this video, I would just use caution and make sure to check and make sure that all the methods and everything is currently still up to date and nothing's been deprecated since this video. I'll try my best to keep things up to date, but I can't promise that it will be up to date when you watch this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this over to my pubspec.yaml under dependencies. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our info.plist file. This is under iOS and runner. And what this is, is this contains a bunch of mapped keys and strings. And anywhere on here, we're just gonna add in a new one. And I'm gonna copy this right from the package page. And you can do the same. It's a new key, a GAD application identifier. And this is the value we need to replace. And to do that, we're gonna replace it with this right here, this new one. So you go to apps, view all apps, and then copy the CA app pub uh, value, okay? I'm gonna save that. And this is what we need to do to finish setting up um, all the configurations for iOS. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and finish setting up my application. Google mobile ads for Flutter. And we're now gonna create uh, an ad unit. And we're just gonna do banner. Okay. And this is what's gonna be useful to us for the banner, is this right here, this tag. Um, but we're gonna just click done for now. And then I'm gonna go back to my other one for iOS and we're gonna add a banner as well. And this one is going to be um, banner test. Okay. And we're gonna be utilizing those within our application. And the last thing we need to do to finish setting up our application is we need to initialize Google Ads within our application. So it's similar to how you would do it with um, Flutterfire, those packages where you need to um, basically initialize Firebase prior to doing anything with Firebase. We need to do the same thing with Google Ads. So what we're gonna do is right in our main, we're going to add widgets flutterbinding.ensure initialized. And then we're gonna add this mobile ads and import the package associated with it and initialize that. Next, we're gonna create a class that's gonna help identify what platform we're dealing with, whether it's iOS or Android, and it's going to uh, help set up the ad for us. And we're gonna call this adhelper.dart. And you can see this in the demo that they have for AdMob. Um, if you're struggling following along, they have step-by-step -step instructions that you can also follow. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this class, 
but we're not going to utilize native ads and so I'm going to remove the native ad unit ID version and what we're going to do here is basically it's checking what the platform is if it's Android or iOS and based on what platform it is we're going to return a certain banner ID and the banner ID that it's referring to is the ones that we just created so we have our iOS we're going to go to app units we have this banner test here and so this is for iOS so we're going to go right here And then we want to go over to our Android banner test. Oops, let me go to here. Okay, we're good to go. Now that we've finished setting up our ad helper class, we're going to want to import it. Now for this example, I've got a very basic app. I have two text widgets right here, and basically I want to put the banner ad in between these two text widgets. So I've already set up a space down here um, in my class. It's going to go right here. Um, but what we're going to do is we're first going to instantialize the ad itself. So we're going to want to first create a banner ad value here. This is our banner ad object that we're going to be utilizing. Um, and the underscore just signifies that it's private to this class and this class only. And then I'm going to create a boolean called is loading. And next I'm going to do override init state. Okay. I'm going to remove that comment. And I'm going to change the value of add. So once this class initializes, we're going to set add equal to a banner add object. And we're going to add a few values. We're going to add app unit ID, which is going to be set to add helper dot banner add unit ID. We're going to add a request, which is going to be add request. Oops. We're going to add a size, which will be add size dot banner. And then we're going to add a listener, which is going to be add listener. And that's going to have a few values on add loaded. We're going to have a set state and we're going to set that is loading value to true. After this one, we're going to have on add failed to load. We're going to do something similar but we're going to have an error returned as well. And we're going to basically print add failed to load with error. Okay. And then after that, we're going to load the ad. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to identify where we want to put our ad. So I already know exactly where mine is going to go. It's going to go right here. And one minor change I'm going to make, change I'm going to make is I'm going to change this to is loaded actually. Um, just make it a little bit easier. Okay. So we're going to say uh, I'm going to say check for ad, and I'm going to have. Have this method called check for add. We're going to say if is loaded is equal to true. Return a container, and we'll fill out the details of that here in a second. Otherwise, return circular progress indicator. Okay, so let's fill out the details of this container. The child is going to be an add widget and it's going to have a value for add of the add that we created. The width will be add.size.width.2 double. 
And then alignment will be alignment.center. Okay, the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create our dispose method. And we're basically gonna say add dispose. This should be an override. Okay, so we're handling the deconstruction of that. Now, chances are if you just set up your add unit, you may get a screen like this where you just forever have your circular progress indicator spinning and you get an ad that says load ad aired, publisher data not found. It can take up to one hour for the ad unit to register. And so don't worry about it, take a break, go work on something else and come back to this again in say an hour or so. Keep in mind that when you're doing this on an emulator, it is gonna give you test ads. You can't just sit there and watch ads all day and generate money for yourself. Only published apps are actually gonna generate income. Wait for it to run. There we go. And you should see an ad like this that says test mode in the middle. Um, and you can use this to test out um, your ad. And that's all you have to do. So that's how to do a banner ad. There's a lot of different types of sizes and different types of ads. You can explore how to utilize some of those other types by checking out the pub.dev page for Google mobile ads. But this is how to set up um, ads into your application. And we've done it with a practical example using a banner ad. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure you click that like button, subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot, helps other people see it as well. And make sure you subscribe to me on Twitter as well. That way you can stay informed when new videos and other content come out. I'll catch you guys next time.